What the fuck is up guys, it's the BYT here, back with another video. It's going to be my top 10 favorite ECW wrestlers, requested by one of my loyals on here. And uh, I think his name's Walston Sollyberg or something, I, I really don't know, sorry if I got your name wrong. But yeah, he also requested the top 10 WCW wrestlers. But I'll do that after I'm done watching all the WCW pay-per-views. Because I really haven't got a full experience of WCW yet. So after I'm done with all that, I think I've got about like... Oh shit, my dog pissed on my dresser. Hold on. I think I've got, I've got like 60 left to watch. Which is a lot actually. With my old camera, I was able to pause when I had something to do right before, I mean, right when I was making the video, when I had to, like, take a shit or something, I could pause it. But now with this camera, there's no way to pause it, which I have no idea why. It doesn't make sense. Top 10 favorite ECW wrestlers. Hope I didn't leave you waiting too long there. This is in order, so here we go. Number 10, uh, Tajiri. Uh, Tajiri was awesome. He put on great cruiserweight style matches. It was super crazy. He's had a lot of really good matches in ECW. He's real. That's where basically he was first noticed in the wrestling business in America, and uh, his real name was Yoshihiro Tajiri, and they just changed it to 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 Tajiri in WWE because they don't like first names for some reason. But yeah, very good. Very. He had the best kicks I've ever seen of any wrestler. When a, he would actually hit you, it looked like you know, you get a big clap. Daniel Bryan's not just fake looking kicks like Daniel Bryan's is. It, it's like real legit shit. And uh, yeah, that kicked in the, that kick in the corner he used to do was awesome. Did a bunch of nice shit, cool moves. So yeah, I was really entertained by his matches. Mostly, um, this is one of those cases where just the wrestling ability um, helps you to be on my top ten favorite. Because he, he really did not speak English, <laughs> so he didn't. He didn't really have a character. He just was fucking amazing in the ring. Number nine, Sandman. The reason why Sandman's not like cult, like higher up on the list is usually people who watch ECW. He's usually in the top five, top three. He just I he, he was just terrible in the ring. That's why I never really. Like, I never, I'm a fan of him, but I'm not a big fan. His entrance was fucking cool, badass. He had a cool character, just a laid-back guy that didn't give a shit about anything. Um, but his wrestling ability is what kills him here. I mean, he's a very, very, he's a good talker, I would say. Um, good, uh, just, he's a good actor, I, I think, because... He's always drunk, so it's like his characters. He's supposed to be drunk, and he's drunk, so I guess that makes him a good actor. He's been in some good storylines with Raven. Um, he's had some shitty matches, had some good matches, just like any wrestler. He's in number nine. Number eight, Devon Dudley. The Dudley boys were just the heart and soul, basically, of ECW. Once WWF picked them up, it was like, fuck it, it's done, you know? Um, they were amazing. I mean, really good mic workers. 
really knew how to work the crowd. Mo probably one of the most underrated ref uh, mic workers of all time is Bubba Ray Dudley. Um, they're actually pretty good in-ring workers. I mean, they're like in their mid-40s and they can still go. I mean, they're in WWE now. They can still go. Um, and they're pretty good. Um, go watch Heat Wave 99 when they cut that fucking epic promo on the crowd. That was amazing. Um, where they threw the beer in this, this guy's face. Which I thought was really cool. Number seven, Bubba Ray Dudley. <laughs> um, they're in a row, but yeah, I just basically said what I need to say about him. Great worker. I mean, not a great worker. Good wrestler. Good talker. Uh, really knows how to sell the moves. Um, just an overall good character. Are the Dudley boys number six? Bam, Bam Bigelow. He really wasn't there that long, but from the time he was there, he's had some great matches. Um, with with Taz, he's had some good matches with. Um, had a really good match between Sabu and Taz at a triple. It was a triple threat match for the FTW title, maybe. Either that or the TV title. But yeah, that was a great match. Um, he's just fucking awesome. He's very agile. Um, just fucking beast from the east. Rest in peace to him. Oh, I gotta show you something, guys. Hold on. See this shit? ECW Pro Wrestling. My dad found this at a flea market. March 26th, 8 p.m. This has to be around 99 because that's when Taz was the world champion. I think that's when he won it. Yeah, it was. I think it was Living Dangerously or Guilty as Charged somewhere around there. 99. I mean, look at all the people that were advertised for the show. Taz, RVD, Shane Douglas, Dudley Boys, Sabu, just fucking New Jack. Awesome. Awesome shit. Uh, yeah, so. Number five. Masato fucking Tanaka. Put on awesome, brutal matches. Just a badass with, uh... Mike Awesome. Here's one of these cases where he makes the list because he's just a fucking badass. He's a beast. Um, best Tornado DDT of all time. No questions asked. Best. Um, every move he did look cool. He had a good move set. That one match with Heat Wave 98. Five star classic. Where they just beat the shit out of each other. Awesome. Just that's just one of those matches where they didn't sell it, but it was just so awesome. Um, Sato Tanaka gets number five, no doubt about it. Number four, quote the Raven, never more. Raven, number four, uh, he was awesome. Just an amazing, amazing, amazing mic worker. Just amazing. One of my, probably, this could be my favorite character of all time all time in my top five definitely this raven character was fucking amazing just amazing the stuff he did was just so he here's a guy that could embrace anything and do it to the likes of no one has ever seen before just like paul Heyman said on the dvd i quoted him but quote the raven but this was he was just fucking awesome the one thing i didn't like was the crucifixion i didn't like that <laughs> but he did so many cool things he would always he was at the playground sitting down playing with the rocks just reminding him how much torture he went through and this is the place where he used to hide from everybody just amazing the character was just fucking awesome or he would, he choked a girl, I mean, he was just fucking cool, he'd always do these promos, deep promos backstage, it was like Bray, it was like a mix between Bray Wyatt and the Ministry of Darkness, but it's like Bray Wyatt times ten, with better acting, no questions, that's number four, Raven, 
shit. All right, gotta speed it up. Number three, Sabu. Basically, one of the key players that made ECW what it was. Fucking awesome, Sabu. Who homicidal, suicidal, genocidal, something, something, something. Sorry, <laughs> uh, but suicidal, homicidal, genocidal. I don't know. There's there's more, but yeah. Sabu, awesome, did fucking cool moves. Not, I've never seen some of the moves he did. The Arabi Atomic Arabian Face Buster with a chair. <laughs> fucking awesome, man. On uh, number two, RVD. Fucking, this would probably be on everybody's number one. RVD, whole fucking show. RVD, Rod Van Dam did amazing moves. Amazing moves. Just amazing. Um... The Van Terminator, the Van Daminator. He is one of my favorite characters where he would just smoke weed, didn't really care about anything. Yeah, but if you step on step on his wrong foot, he's gonna fuck you up. That's how his character was. Um Number one is Taz. Human suplex machine, best move set in wrestling history. This is what I look for into a for a wrestler. Badass brings the big fight feel. Talks like a badass, walks like a badass. When he says he's gonna do something, he does it. Chokes out anybody he sees. Great talker. Um, great um, wrestler as well. Um, he actually had some good. He actually had some wrestling knowledge. Black belt in judo. Just this guy was awesome. Unbelievable. Just a shame that WWE buried him like that. Add that to the burial of Triple H, Ta Taz, and Tommy Dreamer. But yeah, made them look like idiots on that SmackDown. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. That was my top 10 favorite ECW wrestlers list. See ya.